look into the scenario, much the Arab League unites in 2022. This is what it looks like. And first thing they do is, well, invade Israel after Israel refuses to give up some southern lands. Which makes sense. Despite the fact that some of the members of this union. Well, now the Arab League has nukes. That sucks. Badly. Well, they... And then they invade their suspended member, Syria. Why was Syria surrendered? Well, in 2013, because of shooting the opposition government. They were threatened if they didn't make peace, they'll get suspended. And what they do? They didn't make peace. That just sucks. But, they push in. To where the Kurds control. Turkey starts a campaign into the north. Signing peace with the Arab League. Signing a non-aggression pact for the next five years with the Arab League. Which is a the Arab Union, whatever you want to call it. Camarus is a part of it. Camarus is an island there. And they are Madagascar. And they push up. They do it successfully, taking lots of land. Well, Turkey has nice lands. Probably the best lands in Syria. Considering Syria is all desert, and the best part of desert countries is their coast. Well, that's what they look like now. I like Turkey's new borders. Well, Sudan is a part of them. And Eritrea, who I believe has reason to want to join, joins. Don't know who else wants to join. But then they push further. And their push is a success. And the Moroccan part getting them to invade Western Sahara. They have good relations with the West, a lot of these countries, so I'd say their relations with the West are good. Of Russia are also good. I think they would be neutral in the current situation. All they're really concerned about is grabbing land. Then they see, maybe we should grab some more. Arabic lands. Well, that's what they say is a reason, but look what they're invading. Iran, which is Persian, not Arab. Persian, Persian, and Shiite, which is a Sunni Arab state. Well, they push into Arab land, so their justification saying they're liberating Arabs is believed. With them saying they're only going to lands with Arabs. So then they push in the hair, and the West notes are lying. And they believe, they think, no, it couldn't have been planned still. Imagine if what we think is true is actually false. Imagine if America was the ones really invading Ukraine. Well, I doubt it, but what if? What if China invaded Russia? I push up this way. <laughs> should I use some of the music as my background, or should I not? 
comment in the comments box. Well, thanks for being watching my videos while I was gone away. Well, I'm still gone away, but besides that, not the place where I couldn't have a device. And they pass the mountains, and this is like basically here is flat. Although they, this makes more sense. And they push from the south. Iran's fighting. This is about three years of fighting. Or three years of fighting, they took over half the country. And this is where they surrender. Well, then they decide to give this bit of land to Turkey, which is pretty smart, giving Turkey land. They're making an ally. Where are they? Who knows? I'm going to say they are. And comment on what countries you want to unite. Maybe changing the way Battle Royale is going to work in the future. I don't really want to go into this area. Russia. China. And they decide to flat out annex Iran. Spain bombs. For an American investigation, they found out the bombing of Algiers, Tunis, and Rabat were all done by Spain. So NATO gives a the okay for the Arab League to invade, well, Spain. And along with the NATO members, do NATO gets involved, like always. And they invade from all four sides, everywhere. <laughs> And they all push in from the north. It's pretty chill. Oh, it's chill. Well, Spain just collapses. What Mor who would win if Morocco and Algeria only went to war? Not the strong Arab. Catalonia gains independence. France takes a bit of land. Basque takes land. Portugal has made. And the Arab League gains more lands. Spain is, gets a new government, which is pro-Western. Because the other one was the last voted in party was the Nationalist Party. The Franquist Party. And the Arab League now focuses on 
them, which starts a big war in Africa. This is what first happens. So if Africa joins, Mozambique joins, Madagascar join, they join. If you think, well, well, a lot of countries down this area do join. So Nigeria, they join, and the rest just stay neutral. Well, you can look at the first. The first movements happen in the south. And they push into there. Nimit Angola does, at least. They push into here. And they push in the hair. Well, that's a short lived as well. Namibia gets completely crushed. Crushes Angola. After the Namibian invasion of Angola, which is basically a complete success. But short lived, if that makes sense. This is where North Run Africa's first fighting breaks out. I mean, they will eventually win it as well. I mean, we could do them, and they divide. This is where the Ethiopian and South Sudan campaigns begin. Ethiopia, which it, they use chemical weapons, warfare, they even nuke Addis Ababa and are warned after this. They're told that one more thing goes flying down, America will be forced to invade. But they say, okay, invade, we'll just cut all the way off. And America's like, what do I, just don't use another run, you're destroying the planet. Well, they push in. They don't care. They wouldn't be using chemical warfare either if they cared. So they push in. Addis Adabar falls. The world is shocked and furious. Well, they push in the Benin. And then into Togo. Then here. And at the same time, they push into here. They push down, and they take over Cameroon. Push into Kenya. And then they push into Uganda. They take over Uganda, move into Rwanda, and then Burundi. This is where the Tanzania, pushing the Tanzania begins. They're focusing mainly on this nation. Madagascar gets landed on in the north, which they were expecting a south. So they prepared for the south, which allows them to push to about here. And then they take one more push, which they take over the rest.
and they push in the two nations in the north. And they weren't supposed to do that. Huh. My lights keep going. It keeps getting dark here. The clouds keep rolling in, making it dark. And they push down and in countries in West Africa, which dreamed of not losing, dreamed of, but the rest fight so hard that they are eventually forced to withdraw from Senegal and Ivory Coast. It shocks the world that one of the strongest nations in the world can't even take over that nation. And this also shocks the world that Niger kicks them out. I push up in the Namibia quickly, along with Botswana, which goes swift. They push up in the here. And then pushing in the Zambia and Zimbabwe. And they take over Mali. And push up. They managed to take back the exclave, but a lot of the nation. Well, this is where a peace treaty is signed between, well, Angola's government and the DRC. Which is main reason so that South Africa wouldn't have to worry about these lands. Tanzania falls and Zambia falls. Well, there is a pretty not unfair treaty assigned in this region. Parts of Namibia are gave away. And they take over these lands. Namibia then loses again. They also take over these lands. This is a populist South African government. I hope it's not racist like the old populist. League. Well, populism is not a good ideology. But I can't say that your opinion matters. And if in the comments box, you can argue about what the best ideology and worst ideal. Madagascar just said, you can just do whatever you want, we don't care. Basically, it said, well, there's lands here gave to Mozambique. Lands here gave them Mozambique. Lands here gave them Mozambique. Malawi doesn't like this. Zimbabwe and Zambia is basically made a South African puppet. It's known as the Treaty of, well,
Well, the East African Federation is kind of made. And the conditions of this treaty, well, these lands are to be ceded. These lands are to be kept by the EAF. And I take these lands plus these lands. Which the Arab League renames itself to the Middle East North African Union. Not really much. They basically rename themselves to the They can't keep the name Arab League because there's a lot of them. Well, these nations are annexed by Nigeria. Yes, why? Yeah, they can only do so much. These lands are annexed by the Arab League because it's Arab. Well, Nigeria was an imperialist. And guess what? They create it after the war. Before, well, they leave this region. Well, all the countries that managed to kick out the Arab League well, not the Arab League, the North, the Middle Eastern North African Federation. But, the Middle Eastern North African Federation. And this is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. And I recorded this today. Finally, I got recorded. Yep. And. And that's why you should never use nukes. Because look, I'm going to clean it up. Never I an Addis bird did not die. Definitely did not die in that nuclear attack. Definitely did not. Definitely did not. And thanks for viewing. I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. Wild Mapper out. The wildest mapper in the world.